our arts and crafts. Um, I've been out of the scene for a little while. Had a crazy end of the year, beginning of the year. But I'm back. And I've been seeing all these different hacks with sublimation. I do, I can do vinyl, I can do, um, I do sublimation, I do tumblers, I do cups, I do sweatshirts. I custom make sweatshirts like the one I have on with the ruched sleeves. You can find this in my on my website it's www.rrarts and the letter n crafts.com all right now that we passed that um if you like my video this is the first kind of video that i'm actually gonna put on youtube on purpose um <laughs> i've decided to try this youtube thing and i love doing crafts and i love trying different things and so that's what i'm gonna do um, so the craft, the hack that I just, that I've just been seeing everywhere is the DTF hack for sublimation. So I have a Sawgrass 1000. That's my sublimation machine. I use the ink that comes with it. You know, that's, I stick with that. It works for me. That's what I'm doing. Um, but I saw this hack using DTF powder over the sublimation print. So you print it on pet film or DTF pet film. Just make sure it says PET pet. Um, this is just a generic one I got on uh, Amazon. I'll put the link down below. This is just a generic powder I got on Amazon. I'll put that link down below. Um, this is a lot and it will last a long time. It is expensive to try this. I probably paid 50 bucks just for these two things. So yeah, it's expensive. And I think this doesn't have but maybe 25 sheets in it. Like, I was like, I'm not going to get a lot because I don't know if I'm going to like it. So I spent the money so you don't have to. So here we go. What the DTF hack is, you print your sublimation image on the film and then you put the powder on it, which I'm ready to do that here. I have my cup of powder in here. And then you melt it together, the sublimation ink and the DTF glue. It's, it's The powder is an adhesive. So you melt those two together and then you should be able to put it on your 100% cotton shirt. I'm still trying to understand why you would do this because, yes, you can use 100% cotton shirts. I don't like to use 100% cotton shirts. I don't even wear 100% cotton shirts because they shrink. So, yeah, I don't know. But I do know people that that's all they wear. They will not wear any kind of polyester. They only wear cotton, 100% cotton. So, I have a friend like that. And that's, uh, that's why I'm, I'm going to try this. Um, I will tell you the 100% cotton shirts are a lot easier to find. Um, and they cost less for the most part. Um, so, anyways... You, if you do this hack on a, like if you have a print like the one I'm going to do today, I have watched so many videos guys, but if you do, see this is the, this is a logo that I'm doing today and this is, this logo is for my granddaughter's charity that she's starting she's get this guys she's eight years old and she wants to start a charity that is melting my heart so well her charity is to help raise money for organizations nonprofit organizations that need help raising money for animal um shelters or to benefit animals because she loves animals so that's what she wanted to do and I helped her we looked up 
some local um we looked up the animal shelter and then we looked up you know other other organizations and nonprofit organizations that could use some help uh and need donations so she chose pearl's place pearl's place is amazing i helped her check it out online apparently they're very busy <laughs> because we haven't been able to get in there but looking online everything she does it's amazing and um their goal is to build a bigger building so they can help more animals and it is very costly and just helping one animal is costly my granddaughter has one dog and it's crazy expensive just to maintain one dog so um but they help dogs that nobody else wants like with with all kinds of stuff check them out pearl's place it's it's um they're on facebook they have a website like check them out if you need to donate somewhere this year to get your tax deduction check out pearl's place they are doing amazing things um so with all that said so let me show you what i noticed because i was i've seen like i said i was looking at lots of videos so if i put this this is a sublimation image if i would have printed it out put the glue on and then you know melted it with the ink and then put it on a shirt well if that shirt is a heather gray shirt everything that's white on here everything even the little hearts everything will be heather gray just like if i sublimated it without the dtf hack so i don't understand okay um you can put it on if you put it on black it will not show it will be all black like it will be black like it'll be just like if you did it all black um yeah so just like if you suddenly so like i said i think the only thing is because you, you still have to do it on the light or white sure just like sublimation <laughs> so i was like all right well the only difference that i just found out was i did black on a heather gray shirt and check it out this is what it turned out to be this is a charcoal gray this is a charcoal gray and this is just black sublimation with the dtf hack and you cannot see you cannot see the heather gray through here because it's black so i think on the dark colors it'll work but the whole thing is if i had any white in here like if these were hollow letters then everything on the inside would be heather gray so i think that's the key um yeah but i do love the way this black came out because it doesn't look heather gray at all but it with this one it feels soft like it feels fine but i think it kind of feels like a lightweight vinyl but it's supposed to last forever so we're gonna find out because i'm gonna wash this with i'm gonna wash it 10 times and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show it to you so pro as soon as i get it done i'm gonna put a sheet and i'm gonna write a tally every time i wash it in my washer and so I'm going to come back and show this to you. So if you want to see how this turns out after 10 washes, maybe I'll do 12. Anyway, after I wash it a few times, like, follow, subscribe, and you will see it. Because I guarantee I will put that video. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Because now that is a game changer for me. Because charcoal gray is the closest thing to black that you can get and it look because it's dark people love that color like i sell the majority of what i sell is that color so yeah um so that's 
that's that. That's what we're going to find out. So, another hack I tried was the flocked vinyl. This is flocked vinyl. And this is a sublimation. That same image. Sublimation image over the flocked vinyl. So, I don't know if it's the... I just bought cheap, just whatever flocked vinyl. I didn't buy no certain brand. I got it on Amazon. And... This is actually after doing it twice. So the first time I sublimated it on, took it off, I saw there was so much color. It looked a little darker than this, but I saw there was so much color on the on the paper still. So I said, I'm gonna do this again. Maybe I didn't do it long enough. I did it again and it just got lighter. So that was not I was not satisfied with that. So this has now become my project shirt. <laughs> so, okay, the new thing I'm going to try now, I'm going to try the DTF hack, sublimation DTF hack over the flocked vinyl, and then I'm going to try it just, just the sublimation DTF on the other arm, on the other shoulder, just without the flocked vinyl. And of course, after I do these, I'm going to wash them, of course. And I'm going to let you see what they look like. I have not washed the shirt. This is a brand new shirt. I did this hack on it. I still haven't washed it because I was just trying to figure out what I was going to do with it. But anyways, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try the DTF hack on Flock Vinyl and just on this t-shirt. Oh, and this t-shirt is... 50-50 uh, cotton polyester. It's the Gildan Dry Blend, if anybody wants to know. So, let me tell you. I have this setup. Okay, I put a paper in the bottom of my bin here. I have a cup with the DTF powder in it. And I did use a little brush on the big black um, image that I did. To go around the edges, I didn't want like a white edge around it you know from the glue but this is so small i don't think i'm even going to use that brush so i keep this like this this is my storage for this powder so taking this off i'm gonna print the dtf like you have to do it immediately so we have to make sure we have everything ready so because for one as soon as you print the ink's going to be wet you want to put that glue on it as soon as it's wet as soon as it comes out of the printer take the paper off of the bottom did I already discuss the paper no I didn't okay so with the film on my printer it's a sawgrass 1000 I tried to print on it it would not recognize it so what I did I saw somebody else do I watched so many videos I don't know which one did it first so just so you know, a lot of them do it, and and uh, I would give somebody props, but I don't know which one did it first. <laughs> but um, so all you do is you you attach a regular sheet of paper, not not sublimation paper. Don't waste your sublimation paper. A regular sheet of paper. Attach it at the top with a piece of tape. Like you literally, it could be clear tape. It can be, I use blue painter's tape, but just at the top, barely over the edge, you attach a regular piece of paper and then it will be recognized. And you attach it at the edge that's going to go in the printer first. That's what I did. I'll sh you'll see it after I print it out because I already put it in the printer. If you have a Sawgrass 1000 or similar, there's a bunch of them. All you have to do, why did my Wi-Fi light just went off? I hope it worked. So, I'm looking at my sawgrass, I noticed the light went off. So, what you do is you put the paper, the white paper that you attach to it. For one, you attach the paper to the glossy side of the film because it has a matte side and a glossy side. You attach it to the glossy side of the film and then you're going to put the glossy side up because how my printer works 
it takes the paper and flips it and it prints on the bottom side of it. So, just letting you know, that's how I did it. Um, you'll see how I have it attached when I get it out the printer. I'm going to make sure. I, I took so long getting ready. My um, heat press got uh, turned off. So I'm using the Cricut heat press, easy press, and I have my paper ready. Um, so I'm going to put, I'm going to move the camera after this, but I'm going to put paper on top of, because you flip it over and put it on, and then I'm going to put the, this is just regular, what do you call it, butcher paper that you get at Sam's, I buy the roll at Sam's. Um, and I have a heat pad I'm going to put inside. I, and I have this all set out right. I have more than one sheet, by the way. So I'm gonna put this heat pad inside the sleeve because of the, the seam on the bottom. I don't want any things to mess up. So this is a padded heat pad. I have a smaller one, but I couldn't find it. It's like literally that size. But anyways. Okay, so I'm going to put this in there. And I'm going to heat press it. But of course, I'm gonna, I have my... Um, you know what this is. Uh, uh, Lit roller. And I'm doing it now, but I'm going to do it again later. Um lint roll it before I put the sublimation image on but before I can do that I have to be ready to I'm gonna set this aside I have to be ready to let's see there to melt the glue that's what I was getting down to so I'm going to pull out the print I'm going to take the white paper off I'm going to put the powder on and then I'm going to melt it so I'm going to do that pretty quick. The heat press is ready. So let's print out this image. And we'll see if it didn't kick me out. It's taking me so long. Yep, it kicked me out. Come on. Will it save it? Nope. Oh, great. Okay. I have to do this again and I have the measurement come on of course it kicked me out that's a bad thing about Sawgrass Creative Studio it will kick you out if you don't print quickly well it takes a while but I had a lot of things to do to get ready for this <laughs> all right there's my image So what I'm doing, I don't know if you can see this at all, I'm gonna turn it, I'll turn it this way. I'm using my heat press as a desk, no, I can't do that, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Okay, I'm cropping this image, what happened, I cropped the whole thing out. Okay, I'm cropping this image because I know when I cut it out on the um, Cricut, I used my Cricut by the way to cut out that image. Um, the heart, the flocked vinyl, I used my Cricut to cut that out. And so I know I'm, I'm open on Cricut. Uh, it is uh, four, eight, and four seven okay so now i have to make my image and i'm gonna make two of them there's my arm inches
this is not easy. It goes from four seven, there you go, four eight. Okay, so I made this. I'm gonna clear the white. I thought you did. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate it because I'm doing two of them. So one is I'm gonna do. I'm gonna separate them pretty far so that I can put powder on one and not the other. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw the powder on and then cut it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna print it now. It does nothing. It makes sure it works. Have you guys tried any of these hacks? Let me know. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> All right, let's try again. All right. Let's see, let's see. That Wi-Fi light is not on. I don't know why. It's already running. But is it ready? Yes, it says it's ready. So let's print. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm going to get ready now. Hopefully my printer will work. Scissors. I need some scissors. All right, got my scissors. My hand. Oh, I had scissors right there. Right, here we go. Oh man, I see a snare. I don't know why there's a snare. Oh, it is good. Oh. You know what? That one will be my. I can cut it off. Okay, so this is it. See how it comes out. Now I'm going to take that sheet off and it's wet too. So if you take this off, see the painter's tape? I can reuse that. Okay, it went to floor. I'm going to... Wait, both of these have to have the stuff on it. Whatever. Okay. I'll see if I can cut that off. Alright, it's out. That's a lot. Most people don't use that much. Just FYI. I'm just OCD about things. Okay, we're going to start on this side. Got that. And now I'm going to the other side. Got it. Okay. I'll just do it real quick. So I have seen people do this. And then they, um, I, okay, I'll tell you, I've done this three times and it never smeared like that. But this one did smear, just FYI. It, it, it's a possibility. All right, so we got it pretty coated. I don't know if you can see, it's very coated. Even the part I don't want coated, which right now I'm going to cut that off because I don't want the image to have that. Okay, there. I cut it off. It had a little smear and I just cut it off. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to go and put it under the heat press. But I'm going to stop the video here.
and I'm going to move y'all over here to my desk so y'all can see what I'm doing. It won't take a second. All right, we're at my desk, and I'm going to do, I'm going to melt these now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set them like this. I have to decide what I'm going to do. Okay, like that. And I'm going to hold the heat press over it. And I'm going to put the timer. And I will have you know, I'm going as close as I can without touching it. This is not easy, guys, with this big old heat press. I'm doing 45 seconds. If y'all noticed, it was like, you could tell it looked like, kind of like it was coated in sugar. And hopefully, if this is working correctly, we will see, we will not see the sugar now. Like, it'll look like melted sugar. <laughs> so, let's see how this works. Oh, no, it's been 45 seconds. Two, one. Oh. Okay, I don't like it. It's not dark enough. So I'm going to do it again because you'll see, it'll be a difference. I'm going to do it again for another 45 seconds. Sometimes you just, I'm too scared to get too close. So that may be my problem. I don't get close enough. I do have it at 385. I bet if I had it at 400, it would go quicker. But we'll see. We'll see. We're going to see the colors change. You're going to see the reds come out. I don't remember how many times. I want to say I did it three times with the black. Oh, and this is warm. This is very warm. I should put it on 400. But then we'd have to wait for it to get down. Okay, it's getting there. This is getting a little darker. All right, all right. Here we go. One more time. We're going to do it till it's all dark. And we're going to see it. So that was twice. I think I'm too high. That was twice. So I do know someone that does DTF. Like, they have an Epson printer that was converted to DTF. Um, I know they put these in the oven. They put it in the oven after they put the powder on it. And I don't know how long. And then they take it out and it's melted and it's done. But that's with DTF ink. This is not DTF ink, guys. This is sublimation ink with DTF pet. The DTF powder. Okay, now it's getting there. You can see it's getting red. It's getting red there in the center. All right, I'm going to do it just right here now. Okay, so that was three times, and this is four times. I don't want to do it any longer than this because I don't want the sublimation ink to start fading because it's so hot. So this is four times, four times 45 seconds. 45 seconds. I'm gonna have to sit down and figure that out. So there's 60 seconds in a minute. I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> I am, because I gotta figure out how long. We could just ask Google. Let me just ask Google. Yeah, see, I didn't get close enough because this is not changing. But you know what? I'm going to leave it at that because I know I I did it. No, I got the black. I got the black to all turn black. See how you can see white here? I'm going to do it. You know what? I, I'm going to just set this over it because it's pretty dang hot under there. And I'm going to set this for 60 seconds. Let's see. Timer. Even though it's already there. Alright. 60 seconds. That's a whole minute. 
So I did four times 45, and then I'm doing 60 seconds here. Well, it's probably been more than that now. But uh, I don't have to hold it, man. <laughs> I'll leave it there for four minutes if I have to, if I don't have to hold it. Because this is probably, mm, let's see, how far is it off of the, off of the thing? Because the bottom of it is, where's my one? There's not a one on the end. Okay, wait, okay, that's one. This is probably like one and a half inches off of the mat. The heat is one and a half inches off of the mat. Let's see if the rest of it turns red. Because I don't want it to be like, you know, halfway. I did not expect that. Because the black, even all of it did at the same time. All right. It's been over a minute. Okay, whatever. The middle of it is thin. It's a little more red, but it still looks like sugar. <laughs> so, if you know what I mean. See on the bottom? It's like more red. And then at the top, it looks like it has sugar. We're going to see if there's a difference. Alright. Let's do this. We're going to do one arm. The flocked. On the flocked vinyl all right got that in there okay I'm going to cut this I left my scissors over there all right so this is flocked vinyl and I'll put the links to everything I used at the bottom If you've tried the flocked, the sublimation over the flocked vinyl, um, comment. Tell me, is it the brand I'm using? Do I have to use a certain brand? Tell me, how did you do it? How did you make it come out? Because I, I messed mine up on the other one with the sublimation. Just sublimation. That's why I'm, I'm doing this one. Alright, so I'm going to center this. Right there is in the center. I'm going to tape it down. I think that's it right there. I'm going to tape it down at the top and tape it down at the bottom just because I always tape my sublimation images. And I'm going to put a piece of paper over it. And we're going to do this. I'm going to put some pressure on it also. Oh, I didn't change it back down to 45 seconds. It's going to be 385 for 45 seconds. I don't want to melt nothing. I'm not supposed to be melting. Like this. <laughs> All right. And I'm putting pressure down. And this is a pillow, uh, a heat press pillow. Just again, I bought a set from Amazon and um, I love them. I've used them for so many things. Um, I'll find a link and put that down below also. Um, yeah, I'm putting just pressure down on this because I've done it already a few times and I don't have to turn on the heat press and wait an hour for the heat press to get hot. You see how fast these things get hot. These uh, easy press. Quick and easy press. I love it. So we're going to see. We're going to do this side over the flocked vinyl. And it says you're supposed to let it cool. So we're going to let it cool. I'm not going to use that paper again. And we're going to do the other arm while this is cooling. On this arm now, I'm going to, um, I have to preheat it because I haven't done anything on that one. I did the uh, flocked vinyl. All right. 
I'm going to try it on the pink. We'll see how this comes out. I don't have anything white. I'm just uh, doing like a five second warm up. Um, and then I'm going to do the lint roller. I already lint rolled the other side. All right. Ow. Oh, I will tell you, don't touch that. It's hot. <laughs> All right. We're going to lint roll. Yeah, that's the bad thing about these is that gets hot. Okay, lint roll is done. Let me stop putting it there. Okay. Now we're going to put this one on. I don't know why I trim it, but I do. I don't have to trim it. I just do. I just trim it. All right. There we go. Go turn it over. This is the one that's smeared, if you remember. I cut off the smeared part. Alright, I think that's good right there. Got my heat tape. I didn't mention, make sure you have some heat tape by. Have some heat tape nearby. How did I do that? I did it just oh perfect. I was looking if I did it right on the cuff seam. And I did it a little bit above, just like this. All right. I don't think I have to put a paper over because that plastic is there, that uh, DTF uh, film. But I'm going to do it anyways. And here goes nothing. Go put some pressure down. Oh, in case you didn't know, um, this is an Ikea table. And I do have a heat press mat over the table. So I'm not just doing this on any table. Keep this pressure going. Remember, it's 385 for 45 seconds. I think it's going to look cool. Yeah, it's going to look great. But yeah, um, I guess, I guess on 50-50, sublimation fades a little bit like a very little bit because i've used 50 50 uh, shirts many many times and and on the 50 50 shirts they it usually the sublimation goes on it just looks like faded like antique kind of you know Aged is another word for it, but yeah, just FYI. So I could still sublimate on this dark colors on the pink. It just like blends, like it would blend with the red, and the red would look a little dark. But uh, yeah, I should I, sh I should just try a sublimation too. Just do one. Just I have a extra one. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on the back. Just regular sublimation. Since I'm going to, since I'm going, I'm just using this shirt as my testing shirt. I printed uh, just the sublimation image because I was trying. I was gonna do this, and then I was like, wait a minute. I let I printed it on regular a sub sublimation paper. So. I'm going to do it and we're going to see which one lasts longer. I'm going to wash this one too with everything, every wash all month long. So at least by, uh, well, it's almost February. So at least by the end of February, I should have an answer for you on how this works out. We're going to test regular sublimation also. It's the same exact same image. I just printed it in sublimation on sublimation paper, not on DTF um, pet film. We're going to test these. We're going to see why should we use the DTF hack. Is it a good thing? Does it make our sublimation last longer? I just taped it twice. Uh, I do have to use a paper over this. Uh, 
kind of feel like I have to use something under it. I have this. Just don't want it to go through to the image on the front. I mean, maybe my granddaughter can sleep in this shirt or something. I think I got it under there correctly. We'll find out. Okay. Let's do it. By then, everything should be cooled down. We're going to un uncover both of those and see what they look like. And then, like I said, I'm going to come back in about a month, and I'm going to show the result. This shirt is going to be awesome. Um, I will tell you, I have a website, if you didn't hear already. And this is our logo. I am on TikTok, um, on Instagram, and Facebook. I am just getting back into the game for this year, um, why is that open and closing? And um, so yeah, I do do giveaways every month on my web, on my Facebook, where you can interact on Instagram or YouTube. This could come off immediately. It's just sublimation. That's what it looks like. Everything in the background is pink. And you see, my sublimation is faded, so it used all the ink. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. And yeah, some of it goes on your paper because it's not on pet film. So, cannot use that paper again. And I hope it didn't go through <laughs> to the other side. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, this is the DTF hack over uh, vinyl. Um, yeah, flocked vinyl. So I will tell you, I know that with DTF, they're not supposed to be any color on here. If it was real DTF ink, because this is sublimation ink, you have an image on here. It'll just be a little faded, but not. it should not be colored, colored like dark, dark. But look how cool that looks. And it's still soft. Wow, y'all, I can barely tell where the vinyl ends and the DTF begins. Like, you really, really have to figure it out. <laughs> That looks so cool. Very vibrant. Very nice. Nice. Okay. Now let's do just the DTF hack. All right. So remember, we had that smear on this one. There's a little smear up there. I guess the black kind of blended in a little with the red. But other than that, I think, look, it used the same amount of ink. And it feels, it feels like, actually like very light, very, very light. Like you can barely tell it's there. Wow, this came out pretty good. Um... I like it. It kind of, like I said, it feels like, I should say, it feels like screen print. That's what it feels like. It feels like screen print. But like, you can barely tell it's there. That's pretty cool. The colors, on the other hand, like, what do y'all think? I think it's more vibrant. I, I feel like it's more vibrant. But I will say the red, the red is, uh, the red is darker. The red is darker because of the pink. Like I said, it's like the color still mixes. Because here the red is bright. Let me get it closer together. See, 
see the difference? Oh, okay. Yeah, all the colors are darker. But on the sublimation, this is just sublimation, regular sublimation. The colors are brighter. I will tell you, I used a sub paper, but for this, I used the DTF. I love a sub paper. I am a a sub exclusive like and see they're so vibrant but yeah so that's it i love that it really stands out on the flocked i sure hope this vinyl stands out after the washes we're gonna wash everything 12 times that i think i messed that up because look how come it's so vibrant here Maybe I didn't do it fast enough, too. Maybe this was so big I should have done it with a heat press. Because that's a big difference. Oh, this was just sublimation. Okay, let me fix myself. This was just sublimation with my A sub paper onto flocked paper, onto uh, flocked vinyl. This is a big difference. The DTF hat over flocked vinyl. That is huge. That's a huge difference. I love it. I love it. Now, I could use this definitely to put on black. Because you know with sublimation, we cannot sublimate on black. With this flocked vinyl over, with the DTF hat over flocked vinyl, I could put this on black. This is cool. I'm excited. It's done. We're going to see. We're going to see what it looks like after 12 washes. Come back and join me. Like and subscribe if you love this hack and you love this idea. I'm going to do more DIYs. I am, of course, check out my Facebook. Check out my instagram and tiktok i'm rr arts in the letter n crafts on facebook and instagram and tiktok